Hey YouTube, it's Mitch. Today we're going to do the top five premium tweaks for May 2013. These were just released in the last couple of weeks or so, so you definitely want to check all these out. They are all paid, however, but I do have prices and repos availability for each one. First one I want to share with you is called VLOX. This was one of the most anticipated tweaks release of 2013. And what VLOX does, it allows you to open your apps such as settings without actually completely opening up the app. You can get in here and change different things such as Wi-Fi, volume, brightness. There's all different sorts of toggles inside here you can turn on and off. You can increase and decrease your brightness from in here. Uh, you can. It works the same for music. You can open music just by sliding, you can open it by sliding up or down on the icon, I should say. And there's up and you, or down, and you can see I got all my music controls right there. And you can install other, I'm going to call them widgets, I guess, to like work for the calculator to where you can do uh, stuff on the calculator just by swiping down on it like that right there. And you can even do the notes just by swiping down on the notes app and you see I haven't got anything in there but if I was going to start a new note it would simply just tap that and start typing and just hit save and it would go into my notes all right that's called VLOX the next one is called Axis this is a lock screen tweak and it sort of works like grabby if you if you have seen grabby before uh, it changes your camera grabber and if you touch the camera grabber you see I get four other icons that pop up right there I got the phone message music and well I got phone on there twice but you can change those so I've got phone on there twice so let's go in and change that and if I go to settings and go down to axis go into my axis now right here where this says phone let's change that to Safari and you see it changes in real time right up here watch again there's phone there's Safari when I touch it it changes immediately it doesn't require a respring or anything like that now I'll come back out and touch it you see I've got right there I've got Safari music message and phone now and you have all those settings you can change in here. They're categorized by categories such as productivity, uh, social news, music. It works for Pandora, Spotify, all the, all those kinds of things. In the bottom, you got videos such as Netflix, YouTube, Vimium, and, and all of those. That one's $0.99 cents in the Big Boss repo. Felox is one ninety nine in the Big Boss repo. The next one is called IEPQ for iPhone. It adds an equalizer to your music app. And you see right here, I have a little EQ in there now. If I tap that EQ, I get that. I can change any of those settings right there to suit my preferences, the way I want my music to sound, if I want the gain higher, frequency bandwidth, any of that. I can, re I can add a bass booster to it simply by just touching the, that there and adjusting these toggles here. Um, it does say though if high gain can cause distortion, so you may not want to turn the gain up too high in there. And that one is $2 in the Big Boss repo. The next one is called Mini Player, and you've probably seen this little pop-up sticking out on the side over here. That's a music app that follows you wherever you are well it's not a music app it is your music app and it doesn't matter what application you're inside even if you're inside YouTube this is MC YouTube right here I think it's even open in here you see I can play a song right here just by tapping it and it starts brings up the toggles if I tap again it'll start playing the first song in the list so let's go ahead and put that on pause. That's called Mini Player and it's $2. All right, guys, the last one I want to share with you is called Piano Passcode. And uh, I think it's $1.99 in the Big Boss repo as well. 
And what it does, you have to play notes on there to unlock your device. And you can change those to be whatever you want them to be. And I have already gone in here to Piano Passcode and set that up to open just simply by those three notes. But we can go in and change it if we want to. Okay, let's go back up here and put a four, five, and a six. Now when we go in, we will have to unlock by tapping four or six notes. Well, apparently it requires a respring. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, so evidently you have to respring to change the uh, passcode. So let's let's go ahead and respring. It'll only take just a couple seconds. Should right here. And while that's coming up, be sure to check out my channel here weekly. I, I update City of Tweaks as they release daily, but I do top videos every week. City of Tweaks and regular iOS applications for the iPhone, iPad, and anything that you want to use it on. So now when we go in here, you'll see that we have to tap six keys to unlock when it gets through start. And I missed, messed up, so let's start over. And I have to do six keys. That's Piano Passcode. All these will be in the description below, the prices and everything, guys. Check them out. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.